Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper, and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film Maxine. Now, confession up front. Uh, I didn't realize that this was part of a trilogy. Uh, we had X, and then we had Pearl, and now we have Maxine. I did not see X, I did not see Pearl, so I walked in cold to Maxine. And I had heard it was a standalone movie, you know, so I thought no problem there. And I took it for what it was, the story of a, a young woman who had been involved in porn, who's now trying to get a career going, you know, in the, the more accepted forms of art. And then in the while this is going on, there's a serial killer going around killing people. And so those those worlds collide. But Mia Goth is Maxine, and she's been aiming for show, her character's been aiming for a showbiz future her whole life, but she's 33 now, and it's make or break time. And she has a variety of friends, a lot of whom end up dead. And this movie surprised me. It's got Kevin Bacon in it, Bobby Cannavale, Michelle Monaghan. Oh my gosh, it's just Giancarlo Esposito. I, I couldn't believe that it had the cast that it had in it. it you know, Lily Collins is in it for like one scene and then she's gone. But it, it does hold your interest because it does have this you know, serial killer type aspect to it. That's that's pretty interesting. But overall, the movie was just flat to me. It, it, it was, none of the gory scenes looked real. Uh, the acting was good, but nothing outstanding. And it just, to me. The film itself is rated R for profanity, violence, and nudity. I just never got into it. Maybe if I'd seen the first two, it would have helped. But I didn't. So I just had to judge this one on the quality of this film alone. And that ended up with me giving it a score of four. It didn't even hit average level with me. Now, there may be a whole cult following of, of Maxine people out there who are just loving this movie, but I'm not a member of the cult, sorry to say. So, four out of ten. But this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of Maxine.